Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is to find out the shear force and bending moment diagram for the cantilever beam. There is a cantilever beam having a total length of 10 meter and uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter is acting at the middle of this cantilever beam over a length of 4 meter and a concentrated load of point point load or concentrated load of 5 kN acting at the end of the cantilever beam. So we have to find out the support reactions first and then we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So this is a point A. So cantilever beam has a fixed support here so it can resist the horizontal forces R X. It can resist the vertical forces R Y and it can also take the moment M A. So we have to find all these support reactions. As we know that there is no horizontal force acting on this beam, so the Rx will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load, so it don't have to take any load of this support reaction. Now, there are vertical loads, so there will be support reactions Ry and it have some magnitude. Now, how to find this Ry? So I will take summation of Fy is equal to zero. So all the vertical forces should be equal to zero. This Ry is acting positive and all other loads are acting downward. So upward force should be equal to the downward force. So Ry is acting upward and all other forces are acting downward. So it would be with positive sign and all other forces will be acting downward will be negative sign. Minus 5 is acting downward and minus this 2 kN per meter is acting over a distance of 4 meter. So 2 into 4 is equal to 0. So summation of all forces is equal to 0. So Ry equal to shifting all this value it will be 8, it will be 5 it is 13 kN so Ry is equal to 13 kN so the total resistance in vertical direction provided by this um, support is equal to the 13 kN now what is the moment at A how much moment is coming on this support so to find the moment at A we will take the summation of moment at A is equal to 0. So the moment of A, A will be equal to the 5 kN is acting clockwise direction. So 5 into this moment arm. The moment arm is 4 plus 4 plus 2 which is 10. So 5 into 10. The force is 5 and the moment arm is 10. Again this force is acting clockwise direction so it will be also positive. So 2 kN is acting over a distance of 4 meter. So 2 into 4 2 into 4 into the moment arm. What is the moment arm? The, this force 2 into 4 comes out to be concentrated load and this force will be acting at the center of this load. So means it's a distance of 2 meter from this end. Because it is two, 4 and 4 a meter in total so 2 meter a will, be, will be the half of this distance. So 2 meter into 4 meter. This will be the moment arm for this load. So 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So this is the all the moment caused by the loading. And this is the moment at A which will be the resistance provided by this support. So MA will be equal to the 5 into 10 is 50. And adding with 2 into 4 into 6 we get it 48. So the moment at A comes out to be 98 kN into meter. So this is the moment at A, 98 kN meter. So this is the first step to calculate the support reaction, which is the Ry and MA. Now we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Now if we find out the support reactions Ry which comes out to be 13 kN and moment at A comes out to be 98 kN meter. Now we have to find, we can easily draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So by drawing the reference lines, This for the shear force in kilonewton and this for the bending moment kilonewton meter. And we can draw the reference lines, the reference lines here. So the first of all we should draw the shear force. So to draw the shear force, these are the reference point zero zero. 
for the shear force. So R y is 13 kN acting upward in upper direction. This is a support reaction. So this is 13 kN ejecting in upper direction. So this is 13 kN. And then there is no load on this beam. So it will be a straight line. Again, there is a load acting in downward direction. This 13 was acting in upward direction and this load is acting in downward direction which is 2 kN per meter. So 2 kN per meter multiplying with the, with the 4 meter which is the distributed. So 2 multiplying it with the 4 it comes out to be 8. So this load is acting in downward direction. So 13 is acting positive in the upper direction and 8 is acting downward. You see here this load is acting downward. So it comes out to be plus 5. So it means it will bring it to downward up to the plus 5. Now again here there is no load acting on this beam so it will be again straight line and they are acting a 5 kN acting downward so which is this 5 kN. So closing this shear force. So this we get the shear force for this bending for this beam. Now to draw the bending moment diagram we can take help from the shear force diagram. So these are the boxes you can see here this is one rectangle box, this is another trapezoid box, this is another rectangle box. So by getting the area of these boxes we can draw our bending moment diagram. So we know that the bending moment here at the point A is 98 kN meter. So this is my point A. So my bending moment is 98 kN per kN meter. So it is a negative because the cantilever beam always take the moment at the negative value at the support. That's why we always provide the reinforcement at the top of the cantilever beam because the moment here is acting negative. So minus 98 and then finding the area of this, this rectangle. The height is 13 and the width is 4 meter. So 13 into 4, I get 52. So this 52 is acting upward, up in upward direction. You can see here this rectangle is upward from this reference line. So it will be added to this minus 98. So minus 98 plus 52, we got minus 46. So minus 46 here. Now this line is 1 degree line because the shear force value is 0 degree line. This is a zero degree line, so it will be one degree line because the bending moment is always one degree higher than the shear force. So we got minus 46 kilonewton meter here. Now to find the area of this, this is a trapezoid. You see here, this is a, a trapezoid. So to find the area of this trapezoid, the height is 13. You can see here, the height of this is 13. The width is 4. So we can find the length at the area of this trapezoid and this height is 5. So half into 13 plus 5 multiplying it with the 4. So we will find the area of this trapezoid which comes out to be 36. So the area of this trapezoid is 36. So this is also acting in positive direction because above from the axis this is acting above from the zero zero line so it is positive these all are positive because they are acting above the reference lines so this is positive so minus 46 here was negative and adding with plus 36 we again get minus value minus 10 so it is minus 10 somewhere here minus 10 so now drawing it like this way minus 10 but now this was the first degree line one degree line so this will be a pair of curve line like a second degree because this one is first degree so bending moment will be second degree. Now the area of this small rectangle the 5 is the height and this width is 2 meter. So 5 into 2 10 and adding with this 10 because this is positive acting above the difference line so minus 10 was the original value adding with this plus 10 with the rectangle we get 0. So the bending moment here we get it as zero and this will be a first degree line one degree line because this is a zero degree line so we get the bending moment zero here at this end which is a right value because there is no support no fixed support at this end so the bending moment should always be zero so
So this was the way how to draw the shear foot and bending movement diagram. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.